The State of the Union speech last night was delivered okay. The words were fine. But, boy, when you really look into it, it's class warfare. This is what President Obama is going to need to get reelected. The country is not doing well. We're being mocked all over the world. We're sending our soldiers to fight and to die for people that don't want us there. The whole thing is a mess. We owe $15 trillion, a number that's almost insurmountable if we don't move quickly. We could have problems like you've never seen before. We must act quickly. The Republicans counter Obama's speech by showing the same speech over and over again. He's made it for years, and basically it's all empty promises. The fact is, I would love it if he were a great president. I wouldn't care, Democrat, Republican. I couldn't care less. I love this country. But it's just not working out to the fact that he's not a good president. He's not doing the job. He's knocking out pipelines and lots of other things with this environmental stuff that doesn't even really exist. The problems don't exist. So, to President Obama, great speech to get elected, and it may get you elected, but it's really bad for the country. In the meantime, the two primary Republican candidates are absolutely killing each other. What's going on? I've always liked and respected Steve Jobs. I met him a number of times. I really thought he was a terrific guy with terrific vision. The only thing I don't like about Apple, and you can't say much, is that why don't they make their product here? With their tremendous cash hoard, which is $97 billion, maybe they could do something where they start making their equipment and making what they make in the United States. Wouldn't that be great? That would be a truly great story. Because, you know, when you think of Apple, you think of nothing but good. But the bad thing is, their products are made in China for the most part. Wouldn't it be great and wouldn't it be a great story if they could start making their products in the USA? The Wall Street Journal just did a great story about 40 Wall Street. It's called The Trump Building at 40 Wall Street. It's been a real success. It's been a lot of fun. It's a great building in a really fantastic location. But it was nice to be recognized by the Wall Street